Okay, final assembly video. I got the prop balance, which took me half an hour. It's Master Screw S2 series, first time I ever tried one of those, and uh, man, it was hard to balance. <clears throat> uh, did a run-up test. Everything sounds good, nice and solid. Uh, getting about a thousand watts at 51 amps. Right at 1100 watts on burst. And I think it's going to be a good 94, 95 mile an hour plane, level flight. Be over 100 in and dive, and it's the reason why I strengthen these wings up. Now the thing I don't like about this wing. And I'm going to take it back off. Is that I've got way too much play, too much wiggle here. I don't think these bolt holes are really meant. Maybe I miscalculated my solution by leaving those bolt holes back in there. So uh, I'm sure it'll fly fine the way it is, but I like to over engineer things. And so, what I'm going to do is uh, do a little trick that I use on my jets. And also, uh, I used it on the tail fin of the F4U, and that's to apply my trusty clear RTV silicon right around the seams here. And what that's going to do is uh, I'll put a, a thin bead all along the edges right where the wing meets, and that'll give me a nice, good, solid seal and take some of the strain off of those uh, wing bolts uh, and give it a nice, solid... Uh, no flex feel. Now the cool thing about the silicon is that you, know, you get the stuff at the auto parts store and when you need to take your wing off all you do is just take a little razor blade and just uh, loosen up the silicon right around the edges as long as you don't put too much on it. That's why I use a thin bead and wing comes right off. It's like rubber. It's really cool. So that's what I'm going to do and uh, then I'll put a little paint on the bottom here to cover up my modifications and we'll be ready to maiden this bad boy. I'll tell you what really be cool if, if you poked a hole in it right here and then put some kind of like whistle coming out of the back <laughs> simulate supercharger that'd be sweet. <laughs> 